Welcome back and a very spring-like uh, early May day across our mountains with temperatures pretty much where they should be, if not slightly above the average into the mid 70s. Lots of sunshine out of the Beckley area. 50 degrees was the low over here, uh, but some of those sheltered valleys got to the low 40s. Lots of dry air, so tonight will be another cool night, uh, but we have that uh, more humid air making its way in heading toward the middle of the week. That also coincides with the increasing rain chances as we head Wednesday night into Thursday. We're talking dew points that could be in the mid 60s. Uh, so feeling a little bit more summery as we head toward the second half of the work week. For now, we're just dry and we're feeling more spring like with a couple cumulus clouds. Those are fading with the loss of daytime heating, satellite and radar keeping uh, keeping everyone dry across much of the east thanks to high pressure. Our next system getting its act together over the middle section of the country. Now tonight temperatures end up back in those 40s for some of those valley locations due to those light winds and mostly clear skies. Temperatures in the 50s along those western counties. So from Fayetteville uh, down to the coal fields will be in the low 50s. In terms of any uh, dry weather this week uh, for the rest of the week, it does look like Wednesday is going to be okay. If you do have any outdoor plans, as well as Friday, although we'll be contending with the heat by then, I have us in some fair conditions for Thursday for any outdoor work. I think early in the day we're going to still have some rain as well as some cloud cover, uh, but later in the day we will clear on out from all of that. So let's time that all out right now. Heading into Wednesday, we're okay. We're dry generally. Start to pick up a couple, a little bit of moisture late afternoon, but more so in the evening. That's when we start to see these showers roll on in with our next frontal boundary. Overnight, we could see some repetitive rounds of heavier rain across portions of southern West Virginia. Uh, that continues to come on in even as we head into that Thursday morning commute time frame. So do be careful heading out early in the morning Thursday. By the afternoon, we're clearing out. We've been put in a level two a flood risk, a slight, a slight threat. Uh, for the extreme southern coal fields, that includes Raleigh, uh, southern Raleigh County, as well as McDowell, Wyoming counties, uh, and over towards Boone County as well, Logan County, the rest of the area in a level one threat. So just be careful heading out uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That does drop off as we head into uh, the rest of the day on our Thursday. Minor severe threat as we head into Wednesday night toward Thursday, but it drops off Thursday afternoon into a level zero threat. Doesn't look like severe weather is going to be the issue with this, but some gusty winds and some isolated stronger storms possible. We look ahead toward the end of the week and we see near 90 degrees by Friday uh, before another system bringing more storms just in time for the weekend, Janine.